everyone. As you know, this is my very first cash stuffing, and welcome to Save with Judy. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm retired, and um, I know that a lot of the uh, savings challenges channels, they're mostly um, younger people that have children. Well, my children are grown. I have two grown children, and I have three grandchildren. And uh, what I'd like to say for is my husband and I love to travel. We're not so much having to save for things for children, but we like to do things now in our retirement. And I've been watching the cash stuffing videos now for about six months, and I thought, well, why not? I have another channel on YouTube also. It's called Storytime with Judy. So if you have any children, be, be sure to let them check it out. I'll put the link to it below. Okay, let's get started. I'm supposed to have $350 in this uh, bank bag, and if you like this little bank bag, I bought it on Etsy from a really nice lady, and I, I will put the link below so you can check that out. Okay, we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 300, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. So we'll just get started here. And uh, I've got several uh, binders that I want to stuff today. I started actually doing a little stuffing back in the summer when I was watching a couple of the other channels and uh, have really just fell in love with it. So I kind of decided just to go ahead and start my own Etsy shop where I have savings challenges in there. I have a budget, um, a simple budget form and some other little goodies for saving in there. So if you would check it out, I'll put a link to my Etsy shop below also. <clears throat> okay first I want to this is my little binder that I carry in my wallet I did have a bigger one it was an, an A6 size but it was just too big to carry in my purse so I decided to switch to something a little smaller and I really love this one and I got it on Amazon also okay first of all in my groceries I'm going to put $50 and the, the reason I'm just putting $50 is because first of the month I'll be doing a stuffing again and we just need a little money in our grocery budget to get us through the weekend in case I need to go pick up some things. Okay, and next I'm going to put 20 in for gas. Once again, I don't have to put a whole lot in there this time. And eating out, I'm going to put in 25. I cook Monday through Friday because I don't only cook for my husband and myself. I cook for my sister and my niece that live next door and also my son who lives really at the end of our driveway. So I cook Monday through Friday. So Saturday we do takeout or we'll go out. And Sunday is a you're on your own day. Okay, and then in personal, I'm going to put $20. And that's just in case we're out somewhere and we just need to pick up something. Also in this little binder, I have a little envelope for medical and that I just, my husband goes to a doctor once a month and he has to have a copay, so I usually put that in there, but I don't need to put that in there this time. And I have a little entertainment envelope in case I want to put some money in if we want to go to the movie or do something. And then this is another little, in, in this empty little envelope is just for change when I go out. And this is gift cards. Okay, well, let's get started with my savings binder. And another thing I want to tell you, a lot of people, they will go ahead and put in like for their mortgage or their electric bill or water bill and things like that. I don't do that because I really don't see the sense in going and taking that money out of the bank and then turn around and taking it right back so I can get online and pay those bills because I pay just about all of my bills online. So those things, I, I, I just go ahead and leave that money in the bank 
to take care of that, and I get out our extra money to do my cash stuffing. Okay, um, on the roll of dice, I went ahead and rolled the dice before I started, and I had $2. It came up with $2, so we're going to color in the $2. And keep in mind, any of these little cards that you see that you color in that just kind of make saving fun, you can find them in my Etsy shop. Okay, and we're going to put $2 with that. And also, these little budget trackers are in my Etsy shop too. And I think what they're good for is if you'd have to go borrow out of that particular envelope, put down how much you borrowed so you can put it back. And they can keep track if you if you end up getting a lot in your envelope and you need to put some in the bank, then you can keep up with it that way too. Sunny Sunday, I have $10 in there, but we didn't have a sunny Sunday this last week. We had a rainy and snowy Sunday, so I didn't get to put anything in there. Rainy day, we had a rainy day yesterday, so I'm going to put a dollar in there. And... I'm just do it do a dollar in these little rainy days and a couple of them and then when they get full I'm going to move that money over to another more important envelope. So right now I've got in my rainy day since I started it at the first of the year, you'll see we've had quite a few rainy days. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, thirteen dollars in there already. I haven't decided what I'm going to move that over to. If I want to move it over to new clothes or maybe to credit card payoff or what. The next one is exercise. I go to swim twice a week, so I put a dollar in each time I go to swim. Kind of motivates me to get to that pool. And this one, I do think that I'm going to move this money over to new clothes. I feel like if I go exercise, then I deserve something, don't you? And in, the, in this envelope right now, I already have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six dollars in that one. Oh, and I also, on the sunny day, I, I put five dollars in if I've got a sunny day. Okay, no spend month. I didn't spend any money yesterday, so I'm going to mark it as a, as a no spend. Um, let me see, yesterday was the 25th, I believe. And this one, I think I'm, I am going to put toward my credit card payoff because if I don't spend any money, then I can pay on that, can't I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And each month, I will put a new card in here for that month. This is for January, so it just has a few days to go. Okay, on the $250 challenge, I'm going to put 10 in that. Each one of these little, uh, little icons is for uh, $10, so I'll put 10 in that one. And I think coloring these little things in just makes it fun. It just makes it more fun. I have $20 in there so far. Okay, on the 100 envelope challenge, I'm just starting that. So I'm just going to put a five in there this time. Hopefully as time goes on, I can put a little more in. When it gets up to these, it's more money. So I've got to get up there. But I think I'm going to start out with a $5 bill. I need to put my glasses on. I can't see very well. Rolling the change. I don't have anything to put in there today, but I will next week because uh, I've been rolling up my change, and when I go to the bank the first of the month, I'm going to take that change with me. And uh, I'll start filling this in. Taxes, we're going to put $40 in there today. And this taxes is for, uh, we have real estate and property taxes here in Virginia. So I need to um, 
put some money back for that. So each one of these little piggies saving for taxes is $40. So I'm going to fill one in. The other thing is my, the credit card debt. I don't have anything to put in there today, but I might next week. Okay, and that does it for our savings binder. Okay, my next binder is the emergency binder. Okay, and in the emergency binder, I'm, each one of these little jars for savings is $10. So I'm going to put $10 in it today. color a jar in. It just makes it fun. You just kind of want to, you want to save so you can color that jar in. I know it sounds kind of silly, but it is fun. You think, oh, I get to color a jar in today. Okay, and the next is medical. Okay, with our insurance, we have a, what they call out of pocket every year. So I'm going to put 40 in that. And actually, this is just kind of a savings in case something would happen and we would need to have that out-of-pocket money. So we'll color a Band-Aid in. We'll put 40 in that one. The next is the food pantry, and I'm not putting anything in that today. I do have an extra food pantry that's not in my kitchen that I do try to keep stocked. We make a run to Sam's Club about once a month. And because, uh, like I said, I do, even though it's just my husband and I, I do cook for five people. So it does take a lot of uh, flour and sugar and stuff like that. But um, I wanted to have this little card so that I could start saving in it and stock up and do a really big run at Sam's. Next is home repair and renovations. I'm not putting anything in that today either. Uh, we don't really have any repairs right now, but you never know when that might happen, and that's why it's in the emergency folder. And also car maintenance, the same thing. You never know. I never know when my husband's going to come in and say, uh, we need to change the oil or a fuse has gone out or something. So that's going to be for that. Okay, our next binder is my blue binder. And by the way, if you like these binders, I found those on Amazon, and I'll put the link also down below. Okay, vacation. We're going to put $50 in vacation. We have a grandson that's graduating, and uh, they live in Florida, and he's going to be graduating in, in the spring, so we're planning on making a trip down there. We go down there quite often. But we're planning on making a trip down there, so we're going to start saving a little bit back for that. And we'll color in a little traveling car here. And I'm going to put $50 in that. cruise. I'm not putting anything in today, but my husband and I did go on a cruise a couple of years ago, and we absolutely loved it, and we want to go again. So we're going to start saving up so we can do another cruise. Birthday, I'm going to put in $20 today because uh, we have three big birthdays coming up in this next month that we have to get for. I've got a son that's having a birthday, a granddaughter, and another little boy who we love with all of our hearts. So I need to uh, uh, buy a cup, buy three birthday gifts. So we're going to just go ahead and put 20 in here today, and then next week we'll be adding some more. So I can color in two birthday cakes.
Okay, gifts. We're not putting anything in this week. I might next week, though, because we have a neighbor that's, uh, she is expecting a baby anytime. I know we'll be buying a baby gift, so that'd be good for that. Christmas. I'm going to go ahead and start my Christmas fund, and I'm going to go ahead and put $40 in it. $40 and let me color in a little wreath because I made these little wreaths be worth $40 each I'll just color in a green bow on that little baby I'd like to, to put money in here every time I stuff so that next Christmas when it comes along I'll have all of my Christmas fund in here. And we have one for entertainment. I'm not going to stuff it today, but it's good for like uh, if you're saving up to go to a play or to a movie or maybe the casino or maybe ball game tickets, or maybe you're wanting to save up for some game, um, you know, for like a Xbox game or something. That, that would be a good category for that. Our next book is what I call shopping. And in this book, we're going to put $5 in haircuts. And I'm making each one of these little icons $5. My husband and I, uh, we just got haircuts a couple of weeks ago. He got one a week or so before me. And uh, I just got one last week. So we're not going to need one for a while. So I'm just going to put $5 in here. And I'm going to write right down here $5 because I haven't done that yet. So each little pair of scissors and comb is worth $5. And then I have a landscaping folder in here. And that's because when springtime comes, I would love to have the money put back to buy some flowers and plants and things for outside. So that's what that's for. And I do need a new computer, but I'm not stuffing it today. Um, you know, that might be what I do with my rainy day money or something. I don't know. New clothes. I'm definitely going to put my exercise money into new clothes, but I'm not putting anything in there today. Personal. I'm going to put $10 in, in today. And what personal is for, number one, I love my FabFitFun box. I don't know about you guys, if you get that or not. I do. I love it. I've gotten it for a couple of years, and I just love it. And I just don't want to give up my FabFitFun box. But if this is for that, or if I need any makeup or uh, moisturizers and things like that. It's just, just personal for me. Okay, and then I have a folder for shopping, which I'm not stuffing today. These are little shopping bags are really cute, and I'm not really sure yet how much I'm going to put on each shopping bag, but I'm not putting anything in there today. Household is good. If we need something for the house, um, you know, like we need we need we do need a new lawnmower, so that might be for that. And also, uh, my coffee pot is acting up, so I never know when I might need a new Keurig, so that'd be good for that. And furniture, I need a new chair for my desk, so I'm going to start saving for that. New car, we're not planning on buying a new car right now, but you never know when I might start putting some money in that. So I thought I might go ahead and put that in here, because it would be nice to have a new down payment on a car. And this one I haven't made my little card yet for, but I'm going to. And this is going to be for subscriptions, like our Prime subscription, I have an Audible subscription, things like that. And I'm going to put the money in there for that. Well, that's all the money I have to put in there today. I'm hoping that maybe next Wednesday I can do another uh, cash stuffing video. And I sure hope that you guys will enjoy me. And I'm also planning on doing a video showing you the different cards and the different the budget trackers, the budget forms, and different things that I have in my Etsy shop. I sure hope that you guys will go there and look around. And I hope that you will join me. And be sure to check out Storytime for Judy. I thank you for being with me. And until the next time, see you soon.